Here we have a Gigabyte RTX Aorus 4090 video card that came in for repair. The power connector was broken off. This video card was mailed over to us, I would say, two weeks ago. And we replaced the broken connector with this connector here. The connector is straight and not a 90 degree connector. I mentioned in the video that we were not able to get our hands on a 90 degree connector. And so we soldered the connector that we were able to get our hands on. One person in the comments said that he has a 90 degree connector and that he will mail it over to us. And at the same time, we received a lot of emails from different vendors saying that they have this connector in stock. So we just received a large batch of those connectors and we're gonna go ahead and replace the connector that we soldered on last time with the 90 degree connector. We're going to go ahead and remove the connector. I'm applying heat from the bottom and I have the board hanging on the edge of my bench. The board is very thick and a lot of thermal mass. It takes a lot of heat to remove a connector. Last time we applied low melt solder to remove the connector, but now we have loaded solder on the board and we should be able to remove the connector without having to apply low melt. But if it's gonna prove to be difficult, then we're gonna have to apply low melt solder. I mean, look at this, even with loaded, it was not easy. If you look at the connector, the connector is straight and not a 90 degree connector. And if you notice here, we bent those pins on the sides because those pins would not fit through the hole here. They are horizontal and the holes on the board were vertical, so the pins were in the wrong orientation. So what we did was we bent those two pins and we soldered those pins on the board as SMT. So now we can get rid of this connector. We're going to clean the board. Right now it's going to be hard to desolder the holes, just as I mentioned in part one of the video because the board is very thick, a lot of thermal mass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply low melt solder. Even though we have other solder on the board, it's still hard to wake the holes off. Let me demonstrate. So you can see what I'm talking about. I have my soldering iron at 450 degrees Celsius and the board is still hot. See? The hole did not even flinch. Look at this. It's like I'm not applying heat at all. What you have to understand is the board itself must reach the melting temperature of solder in order for me to be able to wake solder off the holes. So let's apply flux. Flux helps with the flow of solder. You can never have enough flux on the board. And we're going to apply low melt solder to make the job easier. Like I mentioned in part one, if it's not for low melt solder, it would have been very difficult to desolder and solder a new connector on the board. So right now what I'm doing is I'm mixing low melt solder with leaded solder that we have on the board. When the soldering iron hits the board, solder is gonna liquefy because we have a direct contact. And low melt is gonna mix with leaded and will lower the melting temperature. And we have to make sure that we have low melt solder with the soldering iron on the board for more than a few seconds so it can properly mix with leaded solder or unload it, that's on the board. If you just go like this, like this, that does nothing. You need to leave it on for a few seconds. Right now we need to clean up.
very nice. And now we're going to absorb and suck all that solder with our braid wick. And it's going to take a lot of braid wick to get rid of that solder. A lot. Because the board is thick, you have a lot of solder in the holes. So that's step one. Look at the wick. We're going to cut it off. And go over this again. See? Magic, right? We're going to charge the customer for 100 meters of solder wick. Clean up, we can apply more flux and do this again. We're going to flip the board and we're going to see if the holes are cleaned from the back. Make sure everything is nice and clean. We should be good. Now what you see in the holes is just flux. The holes are clean. And ready for the new connector to be soldered on. Awesome.
Now we're gonna solder on our 90 degree connector that we have right over here. And the connector is in without any struggle. We're gonna flip the board. Now look at this. Every single pin is inside. Awesome. So I'm gonna hold the connector with my finger from the bottom until we solder a pin or two and then I can let go. And then we can solder all the pins. Right now, if I let go of the connector from the bottom, then the connector is gonna fall off. So I have my finger under and the board is slightly lifted off the bench. We have to make sure the connector is flush with the board. We can start with this right here. I pre-applied solder on my soldering iron tip. Clearly not enough. So like I said, the board is thick and it's gonna take a lot of solder. And just a pin or two, and then I can let go. All right. Maybe one more here on the left. And now we can let go of the connector. I'm going to lay the board on the bench. Then we're going to use our anti glare light so we can see better. And we're going to go over the pins one by one. Start with this one here. Fly a lot of solder. Done. Apply a lot of solder. Done. Same here. Very nice. I'm gonna clean up and go over this one more time. And if we switch over to our ring light, you see this. So let's stay with this. If you wanna see what I'm doing. So we're gonna apply a fresh layer of flux one more time. Go over the pins one last time and we are done. And tell me this connector is not better than factory. The customer is not going to be able to break this connector. Hopefully not. Look at this piece of jewelry. You can give it to your wife and she's going to be very happy. She doesn't have to wear it, but it looks good. Shows that top solder blob is bothering me. It's not perfectly round. So let's see if we can fix that. Nice. And if you noticed, when I'm cleaning with the swab, you're not seeing any lints, and that's because the joints are perfectly round, no sharp edges. Flip the board, and look at how solder flew all the way from back of the board to front of the board. 
That's what I call amazing soldering. And now if we check the connector on the board, look at how flush the connector is with the board. Very nice. We can clean sideways as well. And we're just going far and beyond for the customer to make everything as neat and as good as possible. Awesome. And we are done. We did an amazing job. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.